Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to add a new component in uh, Angular. So uh, here you can see that SRC folder and uh, we have a single app folder and just I want to add a new uh, component in uh, Angular. So just uh, go to your uh, directory where your project is there. So just I'm going to the source repos and the demo Angular there is the project name and we have a client app you you know that just copy that uh, uh, path from your address bar and paste in your uh, command prompt okay so just after that you can uh, apply the command like the ng uh, g4 generate c4 component and the component name so you can see that uh, here we have a c drive and uh, the path is there cd uh, and the path yeah there is exist and when we when you apply that uh, path in the in that format like that ng ng for the uh, node.js and uh, and after that you have to pass a single parameter and that option is z g for the generate and c for your component and the component name is the first okay so could not find an ng module actually because the path is not uh, mentioned in environment variable so just use uh, cd dot dot and client app is actually path is there in the uh, environment variable so just uh, go to your uh, just uh, take a one step uh, ahead, uh, before so you can see that client app is there and where you can apply the command ng g c and the com uh, component name so, yeah the four file is actually created in the folder and you can see that where we have a first uh, name folder is there and here we have a first component first component dot html and uh, specs dot ts file that is the type script file and the first component dot ts is also enabled you can see that another uh, component name is uh, matched in your uh, main root file so just open your main root file that is the app component file so just open it and you can see that the another uh, component is in there like the second where that is already created in uh, just few seconds so just remove that because automatically added that component name in your app module so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, angular asp.net core and learn many more things about angular thank you very much for watching